Welcome to the second episode of Marx's Time, which is my monthly show in which I combine three different videos all under one. Before we begin, I just want to say that we hit 5 million Marty fans. Woohoo! It's insane and I'm so happy about it, so thank you so much for it. But now, without waiting any longer, let's get into the Q&A. The lazy Q&A. Hi Martia, I was wondering what are your favorite places you like to visit in Brighton? I like Brighton so much because it has such a variety of things that you can do and it's kind of like a quiet city but lively at the same time if that makes any sense. The top three places that I like are the beach because the ocean view is beautiful. There is also the burned down pier which is my favorite thing ever. The second one is the pavilion and the park around it because it's insanely gorgeous. The inside of the palace is also one of the most amazingly designed places I've ever seen. And then the last place has to be the pier because it's so amusing to go there. You can get these stones that taste delicious and then there is like a haunted house. It's amazing. I love that place. For Marx's time, could you talk about dealing with social anxiety? I really relate to you when you have talked about it in the past. I feel like with social anxiety, you could talk about a lot of things, but I don't even know where to begin. I always remember that it was never easy for me to be on my own, surrounded by people. Going back all the way to kindergarten, uh, my mom would leave me in the morning and every single morning I would cry because I would feel like I was on my own. And I feel like I've been that way my entire life. I just always found it very, very hard to, you know, open up to people that I don't know or just even do simple things like calling on the phone. It's something that scares me so much, it's horrifying. Everything is so difficult for me, but I've been trying to work on it a lot, especially the last year. I feel like when I started YouTube, it kind of gave me the chance to not socialize at all because I just can sit into a room and talk to the camera and that's what I have to do. But that made me really sad because although it was the easy way, I realized that I wanted to experience new things and go out there and everything at that point was scaring me so much that I was panicking. My camera died but I was pretty much saying that at that point everything scared me and there were periods in my life that I didn't even go out for weeks because I was just too scared of everything. Finally at one moment I realized that I wasn't happy that way and I couldn't continue that way. So I decided to push myself a little bit and started going out on my own for walks, going to the grocery store, going to the post office and all these kind of things that are so simple but they were so difficult for me. Eventually with time these things started becoming normal for me as well and although most things still scare me so much and I can't even think about them, the fact that I have cheated these small little things make me proud of myself and I feel so much happier. So if you're in the same situation, just take it easy. Don't blame yourself for not being able to do things because that's just how you are. But that doesn't mean that you are actually not able to do these things. You just have to try with small steps and you will get there to a point that you feel comfortable doing them by yourself and you're gonna feel very, very proud of yourself. So. That's my suggestion. I hope it helps someone. Once again, I haven't defeated my social anxiety, so I'm no one to talk about these things, but hopefully, since I understand how you feel, you get something out of what I'm saying and try it for yourself and see how you feel about it. Do you and Felix really have to wear glasses or is it just for the looks? Both Felix and I have to wear glasses. He's blinder than I am but we both need to wear them, although I do own many fake glasses just for the looks. What's gonna be your next tattoo? I was thinking that since I have a lot of tattoos that are space related, I kinda wanted to tattoo over here the um, Libra constellation. It will be small, just a few lines, but I think it's very cute. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Who is your main style icon? I would probably say Alexa Chang. Her style is very bon ton and effortlessly chic. I just really love the way she dresses. Which pizza topping describes you best? Definitely potatoes. I love potatoes. I don't know if you've ever seen Forrest Gump, but there is a scene with Booba where he talks about all the ways to make shrimps. That's how I am with potatoes. I love potatoes. I put potatoes anywhere. I feel like I'm a potato. I wish I was a potato. How could I set 
send fan mail to you. Unfortunately, for now, I don't have a PO box, so please don't send anything. I don't even want you guys to spend money for me because I just feel like your support is enough. But maybe in the future, I will open it for a month just to do a special thing. But for now, nothing. Sorry. I know that you speak four languages, but in the next video, can you say a few things in each language? Okay, my Spanish and French aren't that good anymore, but I'm gonna try very quickly just for you. Je m'appelle Mercedes Union. Tengo 22 años. Son italiana, but I live in England. How did I do it? Hey, please answer me, I need your help. I'm an inspired writer, I'm writing a book right now. Like, is there any way you can help me with all the tips? I could really use the help. When I was writing my book, it wasn't easy at first because I had no idea how to start, like how to put together a book. It was a scary thought, but I, I knew it was something that I wanted to go after. So the first thing that I've done was to look into how you put together your manuscript. You have to use a certain font, you have to space it in a certain way, you have to present it in another way. It's just a bunch of small details that you have to be aware of if you're gonna submit your manuscript to a publisher. After you're done writing your story, you have to make sure that you find the right editor for you. So for example, my editor both speak Italian and English, and he's a fan of horror so he really understood what I wanted and he really helped me figure out the way to fix up some sentences that didn't work. He also read through the entire book of course and he was able to tell me what the reader wouldn't understand so at that point I knew what was missing and after the book is ready you can find a publisher and even there, just make sure you find the right publisher for you because you don't want to go with someone that publishes I don't know, some kind of different book. It's better if you go with someone that specializes in that genre, in my opinion. And then after that, just sign the contract, make sure you're smart about it, that you're getting what you deserve. And that's pretty much it. Good luck with your book. Okay, so now the Q&A is done. The next thing, it's a game. And so many of you have requested me to play Five Nights at Freddy's. And I have to be honest, I don't know much about the game. So don't hate on me if I don't know the names of the characters and stuff like that, what is going on. I never played it before and I only watched once that explained it a long time ago. And at the time I didn't even think it was scary, so let's see if it gets me. Let's do this. Oh, uh, okay, here we go. New game. 12 a.m. Night one. A phone is calling. How do I reply? I don't want to talk on the phone with anyone. Where is the phone? Okay, this is already hard enough for me. Hello? Oh, well, if you tell me that there is nothing to worry about, there must be nothing to worry about. There is one right there. Oh, and one right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Ooh. He got closer. I'm totally not listening to what he's saying. Wait. Whoa, 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 what is happening? Okay, 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 let's go back. How do we go back? Are you there? No. Are you there? No. Then why, why did he joke with my feelings and emotions? Oh, he's not there anymore. He's over there. He's still, that is the creepiest one. Don't you agree? That's pretty creepy. Okay, don't worry. Stop talking to me. I don't care. Here, no one. This is not that scary so far. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what, why do you do that? No lights. We don't need no lights. We no skid. Wait, did someone just... What is he doing over there? What is this? animal doing there okay it's not it's not nothing is really happening well okay no one is there okay someone is there you stop it that one is the previous one i don't like him you still there yeah okay it's 4 a.m how long do i have to stay six this one is still in the closet he likes to stay in the closet and the other one is the, oh, he went away. Okay, okay, okay. So he's supposed to not be there anymore, right? Yeah, okay, good. What about over here? No one. Okay, very good, very good. 
think I'm doing pretty good. But that one has to just go away. Go away. Let's check all the cameras. Oh, he went away. Where is he going? Where are they? Okay, he's in the bathroom. That's fine. He can stay in the bathroom. I don't care. What about the other one? Oh, here he is. Okay, let's go back here. He's not there though. So, I don't think he's very scary so far. I don't know if something is supposed to happen that is going to scare you, but so far, so good. 5 a.m. He's still over there. Oh, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. But what? Why does that happen? I don't understand. Did I do it? So good, so good, mm -mm, so good, mm -mm, so good. Okay, the phone is ringing. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Okay, no one, no one, no one, no one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? I don't trust this. Game over? Why? Why? I thought I was doing so well. Okay, so the game is over. And now the very last thing that I want to do is to just talk to you about a lot of things that I've been planning for. I wanted to keep this segment for science stuff, but this month I thought it would be perfect for me to use it for something else. So I'm gonna make a small announcement. It's nothing too big or anything, but I just wanted to share this news with you. So pretty much, since most of you already know it, talking to people, socializing, going outside, it's not something that comes easy for me, not at all. And on top of that, I'm shy, I'm awkward, I have just all kinds of things, so life for me can be a bit difficult sometimes. So this year, for 2015, I decided that each month I'm gonna travel a different destination. This could be with friends, on my own, or with FedEx, it all depends. I just want to travel every month somewhere new hopefully. So as you notice, in January I've done a video called Hello Tokyo and then this month I've done another called Hello New York. And now I have planned trips for March and April but I would love to know if you have any suggestions of destination that I could travel to because of course I will vlog everything so you will come along with me. I'm not asking this because I'm gonna have meetups or anything but I just feel like since you are part of this journey I want you to enjoy it as well, as much as I do, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. And also, if you have any questions or suggestions for future games or science experiments that you want me to do, just find the link on my Tumblr down below and send me a private message there so I'm gonna see it and I will take it into consideration. But that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you with this series next month and in just a couple of days with my new video. Bye! Thanks for watching!